This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. Selma Diamond played chain smoking court bailiff Selma Hacker during the first two seasons of the popular sitcom Night Court, which ran on NBC for nine seasons beginning in 1984. Her character was a fan favorite and seemed to have a one-liner for every occasion. And that should not have been much of a surprise to TV viewers because Selma had been a comedy writer on both television and radio for almost four decades prior to starring in Night Court. Her wit was legendary. Carl Reiner had patterned the character of Sally Rogers after her on The Dick Van Dyke Show. And along with writing, Selma often found herself as a guest on talk shows visiting with the likes of Jack Parr and Johnny Carson. So when Night Court debuted in 1984, I think it's fair to say that Selma was in the twilight of her career. But no one thought that she would be exiting the program so early in its run. Sadly, Selma passed away due to complications from advanced lung disease on May 13, 1985. According to a spokesperson for the actress, she had been in and out of the hospital since the beginning of the year. Perhaps the most heartbreaking thing is that Selma never married and had no family by her side when she passed away. As awful as that sounds, some good did come from her death. The information that I'm about to share is not well known, but it comes from an article that I found in the Orlando Sentinel dated August 4, 1985. In that article, Marky Post, who was joining the cast as a show regular for the third season, talked about Selma's death and how it would be acknowledged on the show. Marky also talked about how many of the cast members, along with the show's producer, Reinald Weege, had made the decision to finally give up smoking due to Selma's early exit from this world. Wait, I don't think I mentioned it. Selma was just 64 years old when she passed away. Among those cast members who finally gave up smoking for good were these two fellers, Harry Anderson and John LaRoquette. They both gave up smoking on the day that Selma died. It's sad that it took something as tragic as her passing to help both of these fine actors make a decision that, in theory, should have added years to their lives. I say in theory because even though Harry stopped smoking, he still left us rather young as well. He was 65 when he passed away from a severe bout of influenza, coupled with several strokes. John LaRoquette, on the other hand, is still alive and well, and currently working on a Night Court reboot that is expected to premiere in early 2023. Selma Diamond was a very funny lady. In fact, her gravestone marker says exactly that on it. And whether she knew it or not, she was also a very influential lady. Her death changed the lives of many of her colleagues for the better. And that, my friends, is something that is truly worthy of remembrance. Please share your memories in the comments section, and if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and what the heck, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.